right, we're back. We have two compact flash to IDE adapters working in the same computer. And there is the four gig SD card that we installed Windows 95 to initially. And in here is a UDMA7 compact flash card that's a little more robust. So once again, C is a four gig SD card and D is a 32 gig compact flash card. I installed Norton Ghost on the SD card. Since everything is ready to go, I am going to try to clone uh, from local to local, disk to disk. And to do that, it's my local source drive. And number two, it's going to be our destination drive. All that looks good. And now it will overwrite our destination drive. Okay, so it looks like our clone was a success. Let's quit out. And let's restart. That's a good sign, surprisingly. This is exactly where the, when I tried to hook up the four gig SD card to our Ultra 100 card here, uh, it froze, couldn't boot Windows 95. So what I'm gonna do now is turn the computer off I'm going to swap these out, open the SSD back up too, we should see, we should boot into Windows 95 for one, and for two, we'll see a roughly 120 gig partition in D, here's our setup, so, if Norton Ghost did its job right, and I'm going to assume that it did, all the contents of this SD card, which is what we originally installed Windows 95 onto, should have cloned themselves onto this 32 gig compact flash card. If that was a success, then when we turn the computer on, we should boot into Windows 95. Windows 95 being on here. And then we should see a second hard drive for this 128 gig SSD. So we'll go into system info and we can see our 32 gig S, excuse me, you can see our 32 gig compact flash card is reading successfully. So let's exit back out. Will we boot into Windows 95? Well, what do you know? Norton Ghost was a success. Stunning success. The next order of business will be checking to see if it reads our 
SSD. So we are not, oh, that explains it. I did not plug the SSD in. All right. Now our SSD has power. So we'll do this again. Press escape to skip the memory test. Our RAID card read the SSD successfully. It's a pretty good sign. Go back in again. And there we go. Now we have D, and we have C. 27.7 gig free, 120 gig free on our SSD.